hey guys welcome back so in this tutorial i will teach you that uh, how can we solve uh, error you know in my previous tutorial i am showing you how to delete a story when you have don't have any story so it will delete the all story reference i will let me show you you can see that it is a method that we will call when you have no story in the database so it will delete this story reference understand but the problem with it is that you know in case if you have not uploaded any story but other users have uploaded so the, the moment so the moment you will open the fragment 4 and uh, you don't have any story so it will do the validation and then it will remove the stories of other users too understand that's why here we have to do a little bit of change and uh, that change is quite simple first of all here already we have a code for deleting user post understand so we will copy that code from here and uh, then we need to paste it so here you can see that we have this code for deleting so simply copy this one and then go above here and just open this uh, check story method and uh, here instead of this story reference dot remove value what you have to do is just simply paste it and here you have to make it uid instead of time and then make it current uid that's all understand so now you know guys it will only delete the reference of your story it will not remove the value of it will not remove the data of other users story understand so that's why you have to do this and uh, yeah also um, you have to open this uh, story activity and uh, let me search story activity and you know here we are saving that data inside to child's all story all story reference yes so here you can see that all story reference have this story member and here story member uh, we have uh, yeah so open this story member and you have to check make sure that uh, this string should be uid understand because the value should be same otherwise it will not it will not be able to validate and then it will not work properly understand so you have to give the value you can see that it is same understand uid and you have to make this reference story ref that's all understand so reference delete yeah that's correct so now yes you can see change this reference and now it will work pretty good yeah and then after this guys what you have to do is you know we have to create a layout file and that will be for the handling messages of the user for example you want to unsend message you want to download the images in message uh, chat activity and uh, you want to see the details that who sent that message so all this stuff we will cover so for this create a layout file simply click on this and then new layout resource file and its name is going to be message underscore and then options then enter so now you can say so now you can see that we have uh, this initializing and now in few seconds it will be ready so let me close these uh, rest of the stuff story member fragment one and uh, show story we will open it when we will need it but for now we can close them so now we can focus only on this uh, very simple basic uh, layout file and uh, then guys here you can do a simple thing is that we are already having a layout resource file for uh, you know fragment four so you can do is uh, we can copy the codes so you can see that f4 bottom sheet open this one and then you have to simply uh yeah control plus a control plus c and then you have to go back in this message option and then after this you have to make it control plus a control plus v and now we have this very two options basic two options understand and uh, then guys what here we will do is that we will change the name we will change the ids first of all and then you have to uh is it correct so let me check it so yeah that's correct so after this we can focus on this one so this is for message options you can make this option first of all we will implement unsend and uh, unsend and uh, this time i will make the padding 10 dp uh yeah because i just want to make it 10 dp that's all and uh, then text size is fine i think yeah and uh, also here padding uh, 10 dp yes so now you can see that we have two options add story uh, not add story you have to change this one and uh, it should be unsend details and uh, for now actually control plus c and uh, 
I'm just implementing layout file so I can change that uh, with uh, you know like uh, uh, option one and uh, option two because uh, you can Im increase the number of uh, options you know nothing is uh, special but uh, make sure I will add uh, these options in future tutorial but for now we will only implement the layout resource file that's why I'm trying to make this tutorial short and simple so you know uh, this is for uh, demo and for now we can do is uh, change the ID so that will be uh, unsend underscore ID and then details underscore ID and uh, uh, sorry you have to make the ID details underscore ID so just make it uh, slash details underscore ID keep in mind that we are using ID only for message attributes understand yeah so option one underscore ID and then option two underscore ID option two underscore ID and understand so now you can see that we have these four options so now we can proceed so that's a very simple thing and then you have to uh, actually background file and make sure the background file is uh, bottom back understand and then you have to open this uh, styles sheet dot xml yeah because we have to create a style and uh, i have already created this so you can see that it is bottom animation the style name is bottom animation understand and you have to write these two lines of code you have to add these two items for anim in i mean how your layout file will come inside the screen and then how it will go outside the string so we are handling that stuff in this style activities so that is a very simple part understand and we have already created a layer android resource directory that is called animation so you can see that it is anim this is for uh, coming inside i mean how your layout file will appear in the screen it is handling here and how it will go out we are handling it here so you can see that you can uh, increase the time you can decrease the time that's a very simple thing so you have to create these two things because i'm already showing these things so that's why i can skip that part it's not that complicated understand so after this guys what we have to do here is uh, uh, now yeah now it's time to go in the java class yeah so you can open the message activity and uh, then here you have to create a method and that method we will call when you will click when you will click uh, yeah when you will long press on the messages so this dialog will appear i mean this layout file will bottom sheet will appear understand so for this what we have to do is uh, we will create a method and that method is very simple yeah so first of all write private void that message will be create message and uh, make sure the spelling is correct dialog understand and then so guys for now i'm not giving any parameter you can see that it is null but in future it will not be null because i have to add some parameters for handling the button clicks so we need some data like time message sent by type of message so all this stuff but for now we can proceed with this very basic stuff understand so you can do is just open fragment 4 yes and uh, we are already implementing that thing so i think we can copy some codes for now so yeah first of all just go above here and you have to copy this control plus c then go back in message activity and paste that code here and then guys you have to make this one so because it is an activity so you have to pass that activity dot not file name sorry dot this yeah that's okay so after this you have to change this bottom sheet so make it message options understand and for now we are having two more text views so you can simply copy this one and then paste it and then you have to change the id so first of all this will be for unsend and uh, this one is for i mean i think we have a details button yeah and uh, this will be opt option one and option two we can change this id and uh, this data later but for now uh, we can handle with it understand so because uh, now i am trying to uh, valid i mean i'm thinking how many options i can add in this app so that's why so i'm leaving it as option one and option two so for now guys we can do is uh, yeah we have to give the id so give unsend id and then it is for details id so you can see that we are giving the id so we can easily understand that it is options id one and you can see 
option id 2 and that's okay and now after this we have to go back in this fragment 4 and then we will copy some more line of code and that is just this four lines understand control plus c so after this you have to come here and then paste that code so now i will explain you that what exactly i am doing here so you know so you know guys those who came first time to this video you know i'm actually i'm not copy pasting this code i have already made a tutorial on this uh, on this uh, layout resource i mean bottom sheet that's why i am simply copying the and pasting the codes that's why i'm copying and pasting the codes so it is easy and it is time saving understand that's why so you can see that when you will click on it so first of all we will show the dialog and then we will fix the layout that it should be height should be i mean width should be match parent and height should be wrap content it means that it will only appear to the middle of the screen understand it will not cover the whole screen of the mobile so now you can see that here we are fixing the background and that is transparent transparent means that it will add the curve uh, style in the edges of that bottom sheet understand then here in this uh, third line we are creating we are calling that bottom animation that we have created in the styles.xml file understand and here you can see that i am doing is i am fixing the gravity i mean the bottom sheet should be at the bottom so in this line i am making sure that it will appear in the bottom understand so that is the all work of this thing and uh, i think now we do not need to change any other options so guys you know in this text view i will implement set on click listener in next tutorial but for this uh, and uh, yeah you know uh, for now for calling that method what you have to do is uh, we can do one thing is uh, whenever the user will click on this uh, yeah you have to create like a holder dot uh, uh, iv sender tender tv dot set on a click listener and then new then on click listener yeah so here you can call that method create message dialog understand so uh set on click listeners so yeah uh, let me remove this uh one second so after this you have to write is dot set on long click listener understand make sure use long click listener and then on long click listener so you can see that this time not on clicking on long clicking it will implement so you have to give is create dialog message understand so why it is showing error delete unreachable so why it is unreachable suddenly control plus x and uh, yeah that's fine so you have to return the false in the bottom so guys you can see when you will long click on the sender tv for now after implementing after watching this tutorial so it will show that bottom sheet and in next tutorial we will implement uh, set on click listener and we will play with other options like you can see that unsend details sent by timing and uh, download feature for uh, media like images and audio files so we will handle all this stuff in next tutorial so it is that is enough for this tutorial so make sure you uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video and please guys also share my channel to your colleagues your friends who are interested in android development and please join our membership for getting the source code of this uh, playlist thank you for watching